I am an amateur astronomer, and I use a telescope to enjoy the beauty of the night sky. I am most interested in looking at deep sky objects, such as star clusters and distant galaxies. It has always amazed me that the further we look out into deep space, the further back in time we see. When we observe galaxies that are hundreds of thousands of light years away, therefore we are seeing them as they were hundreds of thousands of years ago. This process must work in reverse, and any alien life forms observing from one of these galaxies would see our own Milky Way galaxy as it was hundreds of thousands of years in the past. From whatever galaxy one observes from, an observer will be able to look back in time, in all directions, from the centre of their own reference frame, at the beauty of the distant stars. I don't believe this is totally explained by modern physics, and I am on the World Wide Web promoting my theory on the physics of time as a physical process. In this theory, the wave-particle duality of light forms a process of continuous energy exchange that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Therefore, the future is unfolding, light photon by light photon, within each individual reference frame. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating light continuously. Therefore, the wave-particle duality of light can form a continuous blank canvas that the individual can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art or poetry, as time unfolds, photon by photon. This can make sense because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force, and the electrical activity in the brain forms conscious thought. Therefore consciousness is always in the moment of now, in the centre of its own reference frame, as the most advanced part of this universal process, with the continuous flow of ideas and awareness of this process, with a past and uncertain future. In this theory, the moment of now is formed by photon-electron couplings within an individual reference frame. We have direct experience in the moment of now to freely direct our body and can predict outcomes and take responsibility for our choice of action. Free will is not explained by metaphysics or speculation, but by the physics of a physical process. In this theory, called quantum atom theory, each individual person has free will to control the motions of their own atoms according to the laws of physics. The body fully obeys the laws of quantum mechanics, with quantum mechanics playing the important role of increasing randomness or statistical probability that we see as future possibilities and opportunities from the centre of our own reference frame. It is because time is formed in this non-linear way that we can look out from the centre of our own reference frame at the beauty of the stars, looking back in time in all directions into the distant past. Therefore, the closer we observe something, the less time can elapse. Light from the stars takes years to reach us, but light from the planet Jupiter takes only a matter of minutes. Moonlight takes just one second to reach us, and therefore light from everyday objects must take just a fraction of a second. There must be a limit to how close we can observe and still have a measure of time. In this theory, that limit is at the quantum level of the atoms. Time is formed by the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics. This can be based on just two postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, explained by Schrodinger's wave equation, represents the forward passage of time itself. Therefore, the future is unfolding, photon by photon, within each individual reference frame. The second is that Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, that is formed by the wave function, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This theory might sound very far-fetched, but it is only extending Einstein's theories of relativity to objects and individuals in our everyday life. In relativity, objects slow down the rate that time flows 
relative to their energy or momentum. This is an interactive process that changes the curvature of space-time. In this theory, we all form our own future by slowing down the rate that time flows relative to our energy and momentum, or in other words, relative to our actions. Because the Planck constant is a constant of action, this gives us an objective understanding to quantum mechanics and an objective understanding to the physics of time itself. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate. It will help in the promotion of this theory.